Good morning. Welcome to Story Time. It is the perfect day to read some books. Here is a little rainy and cloudy, so you could cuddle up and read some books, and we're going to do that today. We have some fun books that we're going to read about goats and sheep. Now, I'm sure on a day like today, they are taking some shelter, and I do not blame them. But if it was sunny outside, you probably can ride past a farm and see goats and sheep out playing together. So we're going to read a couple fun <coughs> books today. But the first thing that we would like to do is to see what our letter of the week is, okay? So I'm going to find my apron here. And I am going to see what the I have something in my pocket. It's the letter of the week, and I keep it very close to me, but I bet you could take a peek. I'm going to take out my clues. Which letter do you choose? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is fun. This little creature likes the weather today. A duck. Quack, quack, quack. I also have ooh, wow, a money clip with a dollar. Big spender, Miss Dolan. <laughs> Let's see what else I have. I have oh wow, look at this. A dinosaur. Dragonfly. This is so much fun. Look, it's a finger puppet. It's a dragonfly. So I have a dragonfly. I have a dinosaur. A duck. And a dollar. Mmm. I really would like to have some donuts in my pockets because that is my favorite thing that begins with the letter D. A donut. But that's a no-no. We can't have any donuts right now. It's just too early for donuts. Oh, I see one more thing. That is in my pocket. Oh, it's so tiny. Do you see this? It's a dice. I almost forgot that I had a dice in my pocket because it's so little. So I am going to put all of these items back. Because I want to see what's in the container. So here's our clue. The letter D. Did you guess that? Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Lots of fun. Oh my goodness. Look what's in here. A donut. It's only a pretend donut, but hey, that's good enough for me. A donut. Some dinosaurs. A rubber ducky, so a duck. A dolphin. Oh, a domino. Do you know what dominoes are? It's a fun little game that you can play. Ask your mom or your daycare provider about dominoes, okay? And woof, 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 woof. you guessed it. I have a dog in my container. So our letter of the week must be the letter D. Can you make the letter D in sign language? There it is right there. Straight down in a big circle. The letter D for donuts, ducks, dinosaurs, dice, dominoes. The letter D. Can we make the other alphabets that we are relearning again? A for apple. B for bubblegum, 
C for cat and D for donuts. That is so super cool. Let me put everything back into my container. I just like these little containers. They are full of so much fun. And we're going to get our phonic sound and our rhyming card. So, let's do the rhyming card first because I've been practicing. So, mm, let's see. I'm looking for something that begins with the letter D. I am going to pick dish. Begins with the letter D. Dish. Now, I need something that rhymes or sounds like dish. Hmm. Okay. Dish and nail. Does that rhyme? It doesn't? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dish and sick. This little boy is sick. That doesn't rhyme either. Okay. Oh, I think I have it. How about dish and fish? That does rhyme. Very good. I believe you at home you was helping me out. Dish and fish does rhyme. Oh my goodness, do you have your listening ears on? Let's see. Good job. That's our phonic sound. So when we come across the letter D in our reading, we'll be able to sound out that alphabet because we'll remember what it sounds like. Good job, my friend. Thank you so much for helping me with those two items and my apron. You know what? Today, our reading skill is going to be vocabulary. Which means today I picked words that will go with goats and sheep, like a ranch, shepherd, farm, wool, fiber. So those are books that you can incorporate in your day-to-day -day speech that's associated with sheep and goats. That's how we expand our child's vocabulary, by speaking those words to them. And then explain it to them if we have to. If they cannot get the point through contact. And then they will um, increase their vocabulary. Okay? So make sure you use some of those fun words today. I am going to take off my apron. And I'm going to hang it back up. Because it would just get in my way. I won't cover up any of our words today, but we're going to read a book. So since we have books about goats and sheep, let's read a goat book first, okay? So I'm going to read this book about goats. And this is about one goat in particular. It is called Grumpy Goat. And this book is written by Brett Helquist. Grumpy goat. Do you know what it means to be grumpy? That means that sometimes you're not feeling happy. And you may make a little frown on your face and you because mm, you're not happy at all. You're a little grumpy. Some people will say you're out of sorts. That's what your older grandparents may say about being grumpy, okay? So, grumpy goat. But I know... You're not grumpy at home or at your daycare. Sunny Acres was once the friendliest little farm in the country until one day Grumpy Goat 
arrived. Grumpy Goat. Mmm. There he is. Kicking. Goat had never had a single friend in his life. And he didn't want one now. He was hungry. He was grumpy. He didn't want to share. When the pigs invited him to play, Goat chased them off. And Cow came to say hello. She left quickly. The sheep just stayed away. Goat never looked up at the blooming flowers or the green leaves or the bright sky. He never noticed the cool breeze or the warm sun. He just kept his head down. Scowl and ate. He kicked down the garden fence and kept eating. Wow, that's grumpy. After finishing the cherries in the orchard, Goat kept going. But at the top of Sunrise Hill, Goat stopped. What he saw reminded him of something, but he couldn't think what. He sat still and watched for a while. Goat noticed that the ground was getting a little dry. He got some water and then very carefully trimmed the grass. Goat came back the next day and the day after that. He watered and trimmed. He sat and watched. One curious sheep climbed halfway up the hill. Goat eyed her suspiciously but didn't chase her away. The next day, cow wandered by and goat let him help her trim the grass. Oh, look. The day after that, the pigs dropped by for a game of tag. Oh, he's acting a little happier, isn't he? Each evening, Goat lay down to sleep on top of the hill, and each morning he woke up looking forward to seeing his friends again. Until one day, a breeze began to blow. There was nothing Goat could do. The pigs came by, but Goat did not feel like playing. So they sat with him a while. And Cow brought some nice hay. Goat wasn't hungry. The sheep didn't know what to do, so they stayed nearby. Goat spent long, lonely days and chilly nights on top of the hill, but his friends stayed close and visit often. Until one day, oh my goodness, look, it's back. Wow, a whole field. All summer long, Goat was happy to be at Sunny Acres. Once again, the friendliest little farm in the county. The end. Oh, that was a fun story, wasn't that? Oh my goodness. Goat was so grumpy until he saw something that made him feel very, very happy. Let's see what it was. Let's get to that page. There it is. <gasps> My goodness. Isn't that fun? That was a great story. I bet you would like to have this book at home to read for a while so you can come past the library and borrow this book. That's a great one. The next story that I would like to read is about sheep. Now, 
It is said that if you're a little sleepy and you cannot go to sleep, you should count sheep. And the thing is, is you just get so preoccupied with counting sheep that you don't think about anything else and you eventually fall asleep. So we're going to read this story together. It's written by Sarah Weeks and it's called Counting Ovejas which is counting sheep. Wow. Look at these sheep. Oh, they're such pretty colors. I like this. Wow, counting sheep. Wow, this is such a colorful book. Gwyneth Noaches. Good night. One white sheep. Goodbye, white sheep. Two brown sheep. Goodbye, brown sheep. Three black sheep. Goodbye, black sheep. Would you like to help me out at home? Can you say goodbye for me, please? Four pink sheep. Did you say it? Goodbye, pink sheep. Five green sheep. Goodbye, green sheep. Six red sheep. Wave goodbye to them. Goodbye, red sheep. Seven turquoise sheep. Goodbye, turquoise sheep. Eight violet sheep. Goodbye, violet sheep. Nine blue sheep. Goodbye, blue sheep. Did you guess our next number? You're right. Ten yellow sheep. Goodbye, yellow sheep. Thank you, sheep. Gwyneth Noaches. Good night. The end. Oh, I like that story. That was a fun story. Now, we haven't added this book yet to our catalog, but we will do so in the next couple weeks. So, if you would like to check this book out, you may because you can read this book in English and in Spanish, okay? So, this would be a fun book to add to your nighttime ritual of reading. Oh, I like that story. <clears throat> my friends, my friends, you know what? I would like for us to do a little flannel board together. And I think that you know this story. We're going to read the story, or we're going to tell it by flannel board, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Do you know this story? You know what? That is just perfect because... We like the three billy goats gruff, but that troll, mm, we don't care too much for that troll. So let us get set up 
for the three billy goats gruff. Oh, goodbye. Oh, we had some people that was saying goodbye sheep with us. That was so much fun. Let me move over here. Okay, is that good for you, my tech person, Shelly? Mm. Okay. So, once upon a time, let me move this out my way, and then we'll just start. How about that? Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. There was the little teeny tiny billy goat, the medium sized billy goat, and the big billy goat. They were all brothers. And they just like to spend their day out in the green grass just eating. But you know what? They ate up all the grass where they were. And when they looked over, they could see a green pasture on the other side. But to get to the other side, they had to cross over a bridge. And under the bridge lived a troll. And he was mean. He didn't let anyone cross over the bridge. So you know what they did? They decided that they were just too hungry. And they had to get across to the other side to eat that grass. So the first billy goat went across. Trip, tramp, trip, tramp. And he got really far across the bridge. But then the troll said, oh, who is that trumping over my bridge? And the little billy goat said, oh, it's just I. I am the tiniest billy goat gruff, and I just want to get to the other side to eat some grass. And the troll said, hmm, no you're not. I'm coming up to gobble you up. And the little teeny tiny billy goat said, oh, no, please don't gobble me up. I'm such a teeny tiny goat. Wait until my brother comes. He's much bigger. Well, the troll, being a greedy troll, said, you know what? That's exactly what I do. Be off with you. And so, trip, trap, trip, trap. Oh, the tiny goat went across the bridge and made it to the other side and started nibbling some grass. Well, the big, the second brother, the medium-sized billy goat, decided that he was going to go across the bridge also. And there he goes. He made a much larger stomping noise, sounding. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. The troll heard that noise and said, oh, my, that must be the medium-sized billy goat, the big brother. I'm going to go up there and gobble him up. And that's exactly what he told the billy goat. He said, you know what? Stop. I'm coming up to gobble you up. The medium-sized billy goat says, no, no, please don't gobble me up. Why don't you wait until my bigger brother come? He is really big. I just would like to get to the other side to eat some grass. And the troll, being greedy like trolls are, said, you know what? I'll wait for the biggest billy goat. Be off with you. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And he made it to the other side to join his baby brother to eat some grass. Well, along comes... The biggest billy goat. And when he went across the bridge, he was so big that the bridge screamed, screamed, screamed. And he went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And just when he thought he was clear, here comes the greedy troll. And the troll said, who's that crossing my bridge? And the big billy goat said, it is I, the biggest billy goat gruff. And I'm going to the other side to eat some grass. And the troll said, no, you're not. I'm coming to gobble you up. Well, this billy goat was so big and brave. He said, well, come on up. Why don't you? And so the troll, mm, thinking that 
he was going to have a nice meal of goat. Just went on up to the top of the bridge. And this billy goat faced him head on and took his head and bop, head butt him. And he went away never to be seen again. And this big billy goat trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap went over to the other side to join his brothers in eating some grass. You know what? I hope the troll learned his lesson. But you know, trip, trap, trap, this story's told out. The end. Oh, that is a fun story about the Billy Goat Scrub. You know what? If you don't think that you know this story, you can always come past and pick up a book and you can tell the story. And you know what? You can find a coloring book and find some goats and make your own flannel board story. All you need is some coloring sheets and your imagination. You can do it, okay? Oh, that was fun. My goodness, my goodness me. So, my friends, my friends, you know what? I had Miss hmm, Tonya thought I had, and I do, I do, I do. I have something that we're giving away today. Look at that. It's a sheep coloring book <gasps> with colored pencils. So if you put your child's name in the comment section, they may have a chance to win this little set. Okay? So that will be fun. Make sure you put your child's name in the comment section. And Miss Vera and I will pick um, a name and we will get in touch with you and let you know if you won the set. If you don't live around here, we will drop it in the mail to make sure that you receive your prize, okay? Wonderful, wonderful. Now, I would like to show you our activity bag. I am really excited about the activity bag. I know you say I say that every week, but I am really excited about this bag because you will get to do a couple of things. You will get to make um, a sheep that's outside in the grass and look at Miss Vera's video on how to make this craft. It's not very hard but you may need a couple things to explain and she does a fantastic job of explaining it because you're going to get these pieces and you might say what do I do with all these pieces? Well they're going to end up being a sheep okay so you will want to know how to make that. You have some activity pages of matching sounds in the correct um, place with the pictures. You have a coloring sheet and then a retelling of the story, which is always fun. You know, I always like retelling a story because that's how you get a story in your head. And then we have this cool little activity, which is place the goat in the correct po um, position. And you move your goat all around the little scene. So that is super fun for you to do. But our STEAM activity this week um, comes with a little warning. <laughs> so, moms and dads and caregivers, <gasps> look what's inside this bag. It is a soda or a pop, as some of us would say. And you're going to be able to conduct an experiment to see how a sheep stomach works. So we just want to make you aware that this soda is in the activity kit and you'll be able to have fun. I did mention this piece of bread, but sometimes bread is not as dangerous. But this soda, we want to make sure that you don't shake it up too much so when you go to use it, it won't make a big old splash, okay? So make sure you conduct your experiment. Let us know how it turns out. Miss Vera and I didn't get a chance to do this activity yet. But I heard that it's lots of fun because some kids have already done it. So let me know if you really like to um, this experiment and learning how a sheep digests its food. Wow, that's going to be so much fun. So you can stop past and pick up your own the two activity bag, either curbside or Thursday or Friday when we're open, okay? You don't want to miss out on this one because, you know, with well, some weeks we run out of bags. So make sure you get yours before we do that. Oh, that was so much fun. Wow. We worked on our vocabulary. We learned our phonic sound. 
We read books about sheep and goats, but we have plenty of books to read. And you know what? We don't have that much time, but if you stop by and see us, we will show you where these books are on a display, and you can easily pick out um, books about sheep and goats and read those at your leisure. My friends, it's been certainly fun to see you today. I hope you have a grand day despite the rain that we have here. Make sure you take care of yourself and be kind to each other. Listen to your parent or guardian, okay? Bye-bye.